All right, so we're asked to solve this equation by factoring. Um, first, we need to get it ready for that. So we're going to distribute the 2y to the 3y and the 4. So it's going to be 6y squared plus 8y equals 3y plus 4. Then we're going to subtract 3y on both sides. Um, we, we need to get one side equal to zero, so I'm going to set the right side equal to zero. So we get 6y squared plus 5y equals 4. Now we need to subtract the 4 over. Now the 4 doesn't have anybody to subtract it from, so we just subtract it from the whole problem. So it's plus 5y minus 4 equals 0. So now we're actually ready to um, factor it and solve it. <clears throat> well, I'm going to use the AC method to factor it. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. So we want factors that are going to multiply to be negative 24 but add up to be B, which is 5. Um, so one has to be positive, one has to be negative. So if we kind of think about it, um, 6 and 4 aren't going to add up to 5. Um, 12 and 2 won't work. Um, but what about 8 and 3? If I do negative 3 and positive 8, that'll add up to 5. So I want to split that middle term, and I'm going to have 6y squared minus 3y plus 5y minus 4 equals 0. Now factor it by grouping. So in the first two terms, I can take out a 2y, no, a 3y. And I'm left with 2y minus 1. And the second two, I can't take anything out except for a 1. So, oh, oh this should be an 8, not a 5. Um, oh, okay, so now I can take out a 2. And I'm left with, um, no, I can take out 4. Take out a 4, and you need to put plus or minus, but I'm taking out a positive 4 because you want um, this sign here that I'm circling to match with this sign. If they do, take out a positive. If they don't, take out a negative. So then we're left with 2y minus 1 as well. Since these two match, we're good to go. Um, that means we've done everything. I mean, our factoring is correct. So we can take out that 2y minus 1, since each term has 1, and we're left with 3y plus 4. And that equals 0. So take each one, 2y minus 1 equals 0, and 3y plus 4 equals 0. And you solve them. Um, so let's see. I'm going to add 1. To each side on this one, I get 2y equals 1, and then finally divide by 2 on both sides, so I get y equals a half as one answer. Over here, I want to subtract 4 on both sides, and I get 3y equals negative 4. and then divide by 3, so y equals negative 4 thirds. Alright, I hope that helps.